Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a series of books. They're the Color Me Your Way books. Um, I have one through four, and they are illustrated by Pamela Smart. There's hidden images in all of the pictures. They are the biggest books that I own. This ruler is 18 inches. Um, it is like 16 and a half inches by almost 11 inches. That is a big book. So I'm going to try to do these justice on camera because they are so big. It might be a little wonky, but here we go. I have, like I said, four of them. Color Me Your Way Animals A through Z, Color Me 2, Color Me 3, and of course, Color Me 4. I believe there's a Color Me 5 out. I'm not positive. Um, yeah, the pictures are amazing. I hope I do the books justice. Just like I said, they're so big. It's kind of hard to do them on camera where you can see them. Let me back up just a little bit. So they are um, spiral bound, which is really, really nice for this size of a book. On the back, you have, um, uh, like a table of contents showing you some of the um, pictures that are in it. This is, it says 12 examples shown, but there's 14 more inside, which is great. Uh, let's start. All right, let's move the other ones out of the way for now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show every single page, but I like how they put some other um, artist renderings, how they colored them on the front cover. I think it's on the back cover as well. Nope, just this one. Um, it, it's just really, they're so pretty. They're just the way they were done. I love it. And you can see the little hidden things, like they said, like here's letters in here. Um, cute little designs and um, it's just adorable this would be great for any um, any artist I'm gonna have to do it a little sideways in order to get the page to go properly this book would be good for beginners or you know more advanced they're just really really pretty I like how big they are you can work with them with any medium because they are single-sided they're non perforated but because you know it's spiral bound you can take them right out um, lots of little small spaces on some of them so you will need your, um, your highlighters for those your fine liners I mean some of them are portrait and some of them are landscape like this and here's like what they meant about hidden things see the bird here and then the other, like the parakeet right here, in it. Can you see it? Isn't that cool how they do that? And then if you flip it, and look, oh, look this way. On the neck, there's actually another bird here. I'm sure there's more hidden stuff I haven't found, but I think it's very neat how um, they did these books. Got the camel. out of screen like I said I apologize they're just they're big and it's kind of hard to um, show properly the elephants I love the frog I know there's stuff hidden I'm looking giraffe like we saw in the front cover the horse is so pretty the bunny I want to do this when Easter's coming up and I think this would be really pretty to hang up oh the lines are darker on this one. Oh, how cute that's from the front cover the owl y'all know I'm gonna do the owl Oh, 
cute. Can this be any more annoying? <laughs> I just love it. Sorry for the noise, but that's the spine when I'm turning the pages. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Something like this, this large, I would probably do like a solid watercolor just to give the background some, some color and then go back over it with my markers or fine liners and stuff to color in the different colors, possibly. But they would be matching colors, of course. Mine is squeaky. Let me do this. Not sure. Oh, the zebra. Isn't that beautiful? All right, that's it for book one. Okay, book two. with inside cover show you some of the really pretty already colored in ones and then we got our table of contents and let me kind of fix it in the screen here back up just a little all right here we go beautiful beautiful peacock Stunning. got some polar bears and the lions they had jewels on their heads. I like calling them one of these books. I just don't remember which one. I love this picture. It's so freaking cute. Look at this. All right. Look at this. The lizard is like a car here. And then there's like a little, it looks like a sloth or something driving it inside. Can you see that? Isn't that freaking cool? Cool how she did that. I love it. I love stuff like that. And this one's got corn intertwined in the rooster. Oh, there's a rabbit on this one. They're just so neat. My question is, do you color the Things that are hidden a completely separate color, or do you just go with the flow and color it all one color? I guess it's up to you. See, here's another bird in here. Very cool. Love the squirrels. They're just adorable. Isn't that neat? Oops, I'm off the page a little bit. I like the underwater seahorse scenes. Pretty fish. Hey, kitty. Look in the chair. If you see the chair here, the wooden chair, there's a mouse in the design of the wood. Every time I flip through the book, I find something different. And here's another one on the vase. And on the cat and his tail, there's mice everywhere. <laughs> Just love it. Every time I flip the pages, I see something different. This is one of my favorites in this book. I absolutely love this one. I love the pond with the Asian influence here. Real nice. Sorry, it's sideways. It's the only way I can open up my desk. I mean, I'll open them up on my desk here. And here you got like a swan and like a lamb making up this. It looks like a llama. And the dog has this cat in it. Love it. The cow, I mean, look at the cow. The cow's got a barn, a tree, and an owl right here.
This video is getting long. I think I'm going to have to do part two. I love her. She's beautiful. And this moth, the ends of it are eagle, eagle heads. So it looks like an eagle. Could be a bird. I don't know. What do I know, y'all? All right. That is Color Me Too, Hidden Images. Okay. Let's move on to Color Me 3. Oh. And here's the inside cover. This is the one I started, The Viking Ship. Alright guys, to be continued.